Jackie Robinson famously broke baseball's color barrier in 1947. The moment certainly made a lasting impression on a young Willie O'Ree, who, when he was 14, met the star ball player. But 11 years after Robinson made history, O'Ree made it in his own right, becoming the NHL's first black hockey player on this day in 1958, overcoming significant odds. Being blind and uh, being black, and then I was faced with r racism, prejudice, bigotry, and ignorance while I was playing. You heard the first part of that right. After taking a puck to the face, O'Ree lost 95% of the vision in his right eye two years before he would make hockey history. Knowing that his career was on the line, O'Ree kept his partial blindness a secret, and no one was the wiser when he broke hockey's color barrier as a member of the Boston Bruins in 1958. That being said, the limited vision certainly impacted his on-ice performance. He comes on my blind side, I can't see him. I go in around the net, and as I turn, um, he takes a stick and uh, he butt ends me in the mouth and, and splits my nose, uh, knocked my two front teeth out, split my lip here and my teeth fall down on the ice. O'Ree only played two games for Boston during the 1958 season, but returned in 1961 to play another 43 games. The 5 foot 10 inch forward was targeted by rival fans and players alike, but after one incident, alone in the locker room, O'Ree made a decision. So I sat there for about, oh, six minutes and then I turned the lights back on and I said no. I says if I'm going to leave the league, I'm going to leave it because I don't have the skills and the ability to play anymore. I'm not going to leave it because somebody is trying to, you know, run me out of the league. And I says, if I have to fight, I'm going to fight. His NHL career ended in 1961 with four goals and 10 assists. But O'Ree would play in the minor leagues until he was 43 years old. During that span, he won two scoring titles in the Western Hockey League as a member of the WHL's Los Angeles Blades and San Diego Goals. After his playing career ended, O'Ree stuck around Southern California, working at a San Diego hotel. In 1998, the NHL gave O'Ree a job title more befitting of his accomplishments, naming him the Director of Youth Development and Ambassador for NHL Diversity. To date, O'Ree has showcased the sport to more than 40,000 kids of all ethnic backgrounds. And there's no doubt that current NHL stars like P.K. Subban and Wayne Simmons owe a debt of gratitude to Willie O'Ree, who despite being blind in one eye, broke the NHL's color barrier on this day in 1958. Cameron Kramer, One America News.